So do you operate a cookie business or you're looking to start a cookie business and you're wanting to know where can I create my own amazing logo for my business? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a website that you can create an amazing logo and get over 9,000 variations. Yes, over 9,000 variations. And I'm going to walk you through step by step how this works. And we're going to get your cookie logo created in this video right now. All right, so as I mentioned in the introduction, I'm going to show you how to create an absolutely amazing logo for your cookie company. So if you're under the cottage food law, maybe you're starting a food business from home, but you wanna create an amazing label, which I highly recommend you do. Creating a logo for that label for your cottage food cookie business from home is something you can do as well. But these are also, if you're doing e-commerce business and you're looking, looking for a really fantastic logo to create online, this is gonna be a great website and a great tool to help you get started. It's called Brand Crowd. And down below, by the way, in the descriptions, I'll have a really quick link to this actual page where I'm looking at. Um, and what you wanna get started with, once you come to the website, you'll see here's a lot of other great samples of the types of images and logos that you can create. We're going to start in the tool in the uh, search box right here, and we're going to type in cookie business. Okay. Now this is normally, this will be where the name of your business goes. So if it's Sarah's cookies, you can type that in. If it's, you know, John's bakery, cookie specialties or something to that effect, you can type it in here. So hit make logos. Now this will instantly come up with a ton of cookie related logos, but you can take it up a notch a little bit more and get more defined right here in the keyword section here. You want to go ahead and type in the word cookie okay and then hit search all right so now our keyword is more specific about cookie cookie business sometimes can be a little vague so some of the designs you'll get if you don't specify the keyword the designs will be a little bit off so here we go so we've got all of these to choose from and it literally let me scroll down real quick and i'll show you it comes up with like i believe it's nine there it is nine thousand six hundred logos <laughs> which I won't go through all of them, of course, on this video, but I'll just go through a couple of them. But some of these are really fantastic, very unique cookie designs, like with the bear, with the bite on the top. It's really, really cool looking stuff. Um, and these designs come up instantaneously. So not only can you get one of these designs made, you can actually buy it and own that specific design, but you can actually customize it. So I'm gonna walk you through a few steps. Okay, so there's a couple things to remember. When you create a logo, keep in mind this is the this is part of your branding. This is going to be the image that your customers will see first on their packaging is going to be the actual uh, label with the logo. So you want to really spend some time making sure this is really what you want it to look like. This one's kind of cool here. Let's go ahead and try this one. <clears throat> so what Brand Crowd allows you to do is you can literally create an entire logo customized from the beginning. So. Here is what you see when I just showed you on the, on the previous page, okay? So each one of these sections, as I click it, you'll notice that it updates. You can, uh, you can literally update all of these and customize every aspect of it. So let's start with the box. I'm liking this, but I'm actually not feeling the really dark colors. So when you click on the image, these are gonna be the colors within that design, okay, that part of it. For instance, you click on the text, one single color pops up, okay? But you can customize these colors, okay? So now I'm going to go with this one, but I want to make it a little bit lighter. <clears throat> that was just really too dark. So we're going to go a little bit lighter. And then on the on this side, I'm going to do the same as well. All right. And then we've got that. Now, the logo colors. <clears throat> These are the recommended colors, again, that you saw here in the cookie section. Let's go ahead and get this. By the way, when you do this with Save Your Progress, you gotta make sure that you type in your email. This is gonna allow you um, the chance to actually save this. So in case you get disconnected or what have you, they're gonna have it updated for you, okay? So go ahead and type in with our marketing food online at Yahoo. All right. All right, fantastic. So we got our update. So now we're going down to the text. Now, up here in this section, you can actually customize. This is what I mentioned in the opening of the video. So if it was, you know, Sarah's, Sarah's Classic Cookies, go ahead and type it in. And I spelled classic wrong. There we go. There we go. All right, Sarah's Classic Cookies. And this is the font style. So you, you click on this box, it's gonna give you a drop down menu. All of these here are a variety, literally, again, hundreds and hundreds of them. I recommend, here's some of my own opinion. 
Try to make them kind of whimsical or fun looking, but don't make it to the point where it's really hard to read. Here's what I mean. If you chose something like this, it looks okay, but it's a really hard, some people may not be able to read that. For me, I go ahead and choose something that's a little more legible, if you will, but it's kind of fun. This one, look at this, this is fantastic. It's fun, but it's kind of different, whimsical looking, but again, it's not something you cannot read. Now, the color of this, yes, you can change that. Go ahead and click on the color. Now, you can go ahead and get gradients, you can get different um, earth tones, bright colors, brown colors, solid colors if you want, or even something totally different like a red. So that's kind of cool, I liked it a lot. Now, another tip, never overlap the actual font over the design like this. Try to stay away from that. I've seen some people do that. It's very hard to read the actual name of the product, okay? Keep that separate, but again, you wanna keep it just slightly below the image. And I also wouldn't recommend going too small or the size of the box. You see the width of the box? I would recommend you go a little bit further just because your eyes will travel from here down to the name of your business, okay? Or the name of your product. And that's what you're really looking for, okay? And then you can line it up. Don't go too, too far because then if you go outside the lines here and you're exceeding the actual printed area, it may be too big. You don't want to overlap because now your eye just looks at this more than this. So you want a little bit of a balance. Just go slightly outside the image, okay? So if this is the edge of the image, edge of the image, go a little bit outside and you're good to go. All right, so then line that up a little bit. There we go. And then of course, the next one, you can change this as well. You can type in um, chocolate. And again, we can go ahead and change the actual font. And here's a candy. This is kind of a whimsical candy look. Let's see how this one looks. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that one. So we'll go with that. Oh, that's a little too big. Now this I would recommend underneath, which is kind of like, not exactly the name of your company, but if it happens to be a slogan, I would put it below the name, but make it a little smaller. Now this font is actually not going to work because it's too small. So let's go up here and let's find something that's a little bit more rigid so we can actually read what it says. There we go. I like that one. There we go. Keep the second part, if you're doing the name of your a slogan of some kind, keep it smaller than the actual one. You don't want to go above it big because again, your eye will be drawn to this. So make it a little bit smaller. And when you're done, simply click download. Now it'll take you over to the next page where you make your purchase. Simply choose whichever type of package that you want. And keep in mind, what I also recommend is that you get something that's going to give you all of these files. These are the different types of files for different reasons. Like for websites, you have a different file so the image looks good. If you want to print these and put these on t-shirts and sell merch with your name, the different file sizes, the vector files are going to be necessary so the image looks clear. So just keep that in mind as well. All right, very simple, very easy. Check out brandcrowd.com. There's a link down below. Again, I'll take you right to this page where the cookies are and let us know what you think about it in the comments. Thanks for watching Marketing Food Online. And if you are looking to create your own food truck, start a home-based food business under the Cottage Food Law, franchise a food operation, start a packaged food business, private label your own food product, sell on Amazon, get your own online store or sell food online. Remember to subscribe and check out these videos for more resources. Take care.